think gets anywhere. Isn't it? That's uh, more than did Michigan. Did they say that was more than Michigan? They uh, made an announcement. Yeah, I, I don't know if they did say that. And bringing out of the end zone, Larry Johnson. Penalty markers down. Punt block earlier for Freddie Capshaw. Up the middle this time. He gets it away. What a time hit. Antonio Bryant hung on. I'm not sure how. Guy number 20 behind him, Sean Taylor. 6'3", 220. Stronger. There's still a lot of talk between now and the end of the year. Perhaps the final snap. Up 29. Incomplete. Flag is down. Sean Taylor, the redshirt freshman. Had a gullet for prep down there in Miami. Got held before, before he came across. Bearden again gives the better set. And again he bursts through. And finally Sean Taylor made the tackle. Fumble, loose football. And they're going to call him down. Well, Betterson running the football off left tackle. He's had a couple nice back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back runs. You see the football oh, sliding out, fumble. and that's a that is a fumble. That's one they missed. Nice, so 43 and two, and two. Miami has scored on its last four possessions, and a heck of a tackle by Sean Taylor on the opposite 26. Michael Page into the win, hangs it high. Taken at the 19-yard line, and boy, I tell you what, there's that speed again, folks. That Miami speed. D2 championship game, won three championships in a row. Oh, there's a football play. That was a football play. You saw his eighth career touchdown, and the kick is returnable this time. Maurice Jackson isn't going to return it very far, though. In Miami, he was actually on his way to Mississippi. And they are happy that he is here, that's for sure, as Jackson takes on a kick return. Flags fly in. People that thought maybe Miami wasn't that good. From the six is Ferry. And Diamond Ferry trying to weave his way around and then is stood up at the 20 by Sean Taylor, his second hit in a row on special team. Sievers will kick off from the 50 now because of that penalty on the extra point. And this one goes to the goal line. It's returnable. I don't know if it was a good choice. I don't think so. Not a good choice. They pooched it, which was a good idea. It's a little high, but it's clean. And Capshaw gets a kick away. And nobody home back there. And Miami might even be able to down it before it gets to the end zone, and they do. Perfectly done with 20 seconds remaining in the ball game. Good one here. Room to return it, however, by uh, Buchanan. Bill looking for some help and got some. Stepped out of bounds at about the 44. Take it over for the departed Ed Reed onto the NFL first round draft pick of the Baltimore Ravens. And Reed had 21 interceptions to printers under center. Fakes the end around, got away from John Square. Throws complete to Lutu, his tight end is just lit up by Sean Taylor. Well, we talked earlier that Sean Taylor likes to hit. There's a little bit of taste of it. He's one of those guys in the secondary that would rather have a big hit than an interception. He gets a chance here to come tee off on a tight end, and uh, you get a chance to see why we think, you know, this is a, this kid's in a, a Benny Blades type mold, a big, strong safety. Watch him come up here and just bang, big hit. Gain was two, it'll be second and eight. You see he has the size to be a great safety. Second and two, Hayes out of the shotgun. Throws complete to Demps, and he falls down, then is buried by Sean Taylor. Miami. Second down and seven, play fake. Little pass out to Graham. And Ernest Graham picks up another. Motion. Play fake, Grossman, pressure. A lot of pressure. And it is caught. No, out of bounds. Listed in the media guide in here. The spot of two of those fake punt. No, he didn't felt it. He just thought he was going to get it blocked. That was not a fake. A play clock. They get the snap. Three-man rush. Grossman. That one should have been picked off. And he's hit again. And, and now the clock is stopped. And Miami's going to get the football back in good position. Be open for the tight end. This is the first and ten. There's Grossman. Under pressure. Shuttles it out. Step on by Graham. Boy, they got something out of nothing. Indicated by Miami, they'll send four. Grossman back. And that one's almost picked off. Knocked away by Sean Taylor. Well, just look at the body language of these Florida receivers. I mean, it's been a frustrating night. Left. 
Man to man. Option inside. Yeah. No, sir. Well, the first down. down. He did first get down. the first down, but no yeah. touchdown. It was awfully close. Ball. See how Mr. Fenton is doing. He made a good effort, but boy, did he get high load there. And there's the drop off the spread. Nice yard. Oh, baby, there's a tackle. Here is a target and he came for it. Sean Taylor, that's the second time he has had a big league hit. Here's the punt. By Ringwellski, Parrish. Got a wall set up. Reverses to come back to it. Oh, he did a great job. Here's the wall. 35. He stays in bounds. Oh, man, you see that last hit. Sean Taylor. Woo! I miss, and, and that's exactly what Roscoe does here. Great reverse spin move back to the Miami sideline, and watch the hit right here by number 26. If Let's you can see, see it right at the end of the row, right, right there. there. Oh my goodness, tattooed. That's Hemmings in motion. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Good heavens, Jonathan Vilma. Burke is the deep man. High pass from center, but he gets the kick away, and it's a dandy. Burke all the way back to the 33, and he just gets smacked. High and low. Straight up the middle. Going to play it conservative and play it smart as Brandon Brokaw. Blitz and Mike Trout. Here they come. Breaks off one tackle. Not going to break off the second one. And this third down play is going to go for naught. St. Pierre sets a screenplay. Derek Knight did a St. Pierre. Pressure off the corners, got hit as he threw, and it is knocked away on a nice defensive play. All fades. Sitting back here in a too deep look. Yes, I do. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Holds the left footer, has it blocked. Blocked by Sean Taylor. And it will be Miami football inside the Yukon 20. Well, I didn't get some hand gestures from an Australian official. This is the backup tailback. And he'll pick up six yards. First down, Rolowski. Has to look back to the near side of the field. Throws and nearly intercepted. Sean Taylor nearly had the pick. Well, he's lucky he didn't get his receiver killed on this by lofting it up like this. But Taylor's great break on the ball. And I'm just not sure why he didn't come up with it. Yeah, he probably hit the shoulder pad of Al Marshall. Yeah, that may be what it is. That's what sports. This is Chandler Poole on a draw play. Poole has some room out to the 30-yard line. Got away from Maurice Sykes. And Poole finally bumped out by Sean Taylor. Jones has been a load lately, and they go to him on the first carry, and he busts it out. First down run and more. Jones down the sideline. What a start for Florida State. He took a whack after a 28-yard gain. Opportunity to put all that off and takes a wide snap. And he got the kick away, and it's a good one. Johnson, the freshman from the 15. Wow. And uh well, he's still on his feet. They did not in SAR. They're going to bring it back. I thought his knee touched down. He's not catching. He's going to get hit there. Capshaw's punt. Leon Washington has to let it go. Looked up in the sun. And great job by the coverage unit to get down there. Sean Taylor downs a 50-yard punt. Dead at about the three. First down after the penalty. Jones. Trying to drag orange jerseys with him, but uh, they swarm him. Cash shot a kick. Hangs up the punt. Washington will take it. The freshman takes off going the other way. All the way out to the 40 yard line. Ricks, nice play fake. Chris comes up throwing. Intercepted. Sean Taylor. We got over there. Got it. He had a long way to go. He did. I thought it was going to be the corner that was going to have a play on Tried ball. to get double tight ends and 10 guys near the line of scrimmage defensively. And Taylor just gets over and makes a play. You know what? They're going to say he was out of bounds. Yeah. So it's a fourth down. It was hard to see. Let's take a look. Rick's broken play. He's going to keep it around the end. And he takes another wicked hit. This one from Sean Taylor. Ricks down the middle, in and out, and then caught, and now it's a loose ball. Fumble. Miami's got it. They call it incomplete. Looked like a catch. They say no. 
P.K. Sam bottled it, looked like he caught it, then got whacked. Oh, a huge hit. And the Miami coaches are off the sideline saying, are you kidding me? Let's take another look. It's a great throw by Ricks. Tremendous throw. Oh, boy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It looked like he had possession against his body. I'd agree with you, partner. Looked like he took a step before he took a shot. It's a little different. Don't use their fullback often, and they throw to their fullback. That is Mo Fafana, and he is shoved out after before we go to you, Matt. Marshall keeping it all the way. Gets popped inside about the 18 yard seven. So we see Mike Casalari in again. Roscoe Parrish, long way to go. Gets it going backwards. That's not what you like, but he's making something out of it. Boy, Parrish. Fall down. Fumble. Fall down again. Third Miami fumble, but this time they hang on to it. Eight yard reception by Kellen Winslow. Four plays over 40 yards through the air, and now. Coburn gets wrapped up by Sean Taylor, and this is where West Virginia can find itself in a hole down two touchdowns. In On the ground, it could be a problem. 363 rushing yards, there's a pick. Sean Taylor seals the win, and he is off to the races. McQuella Henderson making the stop, but Miami, the number one team in the country, is about to tie its school record 29 straight wins. Down play. On a draw this time. Faison takes it up. Two-time All-Big East performer. Gets into this one. And down at the 20. And taken down quickly. Wasted very little time on that one. A 30 or third down opportunities. Hard play fake. Got time. Deep ball. Man there. Picked off. Here we come the other way. Miami down the near sideline. And that's to the 30. Sean Taylor made the great read and brought it all the way back 48 yards. As you said, Sean Taylor coming from the backside of the defense. The quarterback, the young quarterback, Ryan Hart, never saw him trying to get to his tight end down the middle of the field, LJ Smith, and you never see the backside corner or the backside safety he comes right in. If he doesn't catch it, Maurice Sykes might get it. But Sean Taylor, with his second interception of the season, goes down the Rutgers sideline, close to the 20 yard line at the 21, and Miami instant field position. Long count by Trump, rollout, got time, got the receivers down, the throw back, he's got Martin. Martin's there. Gets up, but Sean Taylor had a free one, and boy, did he punch that toll ticket. He sure did. Sean Taylor comes from the backside. It looks like Trump needs to get rid of this football. He needs to make a decision because the longer he hangs on to it, the more speed, team speed, Miami can close that gap. He looks open, does his wide receiver down the field, Martin, but he's running right into coverage, and that coverage in the presence of number 26, Sean Taylor. That's nine breakups on the season for 26, the sophomore out of Miami. All right, pump fake, Statue of Liberty, Faison going the other way, got a block to the edge. He gets hit hard, but it'll be short by that two yard field goal. You'll get a great look at it. And he did a fake. points and right there was not the time to fake it if you're gonna roll the dice you roll it on third down and if you don't get the right look on fourth down you don't do anything but reception Miami rushes four look out backside balls up in the air jump on it is picked off 37 yard line coming down the sideline and they're gonna say he and Hart delivers a big shot causes the fumble causes the ball to go up in the air and then great concentration able to play today because of the lingering effects of a concussion Here's Houston. He's got to beat one man, and he's got an angle. Houston at the 20. They're closing in, but he's down at the 40. There's the handoff. Big opener. They got the NFL right now because of uh, his injury. Here's Banks. Gets a good block from Sean Young, and then the catch is made up at the 43-yard line. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Not good. And Jason, Jason Witten has heard. Run until the last minute he decided to make the throw because of the converging hurricanes. And watch Witten. He stretches out and then a helmet 
right in the uh, in the midsection. On third down, Banks wants a bunch, gets a block and dances right. Now lets it go, and he's got a man open, but the ball is just overthrown. It was away to the zone 15. High snap. Nice job of pulling it down and getting it out of there. Short kick, 37 yards, returnable. Up the reverse. From Gulliver Prep right here in Miami. So you're waiting for all those Heisman hopefuls to get on the field. They'll put points on the board in special teams. Number one, Miami leads 7 0 early. This is why everybody talks about Miami being so dangerous. The offense hasn't even been on the field. They set this up perfectly. All the momentum. Pittsburgh's excited. Look at the change in direction there. Pittsburgh now has three guys. But look at the convoy of blockers for Miami. And Sean Taylor at safety sets that up perfectly to take that all the way into the end zone as the blockers lead him in. Second and a couple, and they'll throw on second and short for the second time. Incomplete. Looking for Fitzgerald. The Buckeye. Ohio State and the Buckeye. They're going to take it. All right, Chris. All right. Back upstairs. Rutherford on the run. Keeps it alive and almost got the first down until it was tangled by Sean Taylor. For the fifth time tonight. Snaps are still high. Had a rush that one. Maybe something is breaking free. It was Taylor, I think. This will be 39 yards. Another good job. The reason why this punt was partially blocked is, first of all, the center snap is high, Again. which makes the timing off. Second, Sean Taylor goes for perfect position, not where the kicker is, but where he's going to kick the ball. The few teams can maintain. From the 41, they fake it in the belly. Rutherford loading up long for Fitzgerald. Couldn't make the play in the air that time with Sean Taylor. Step for step. That's the free safety back there. Who had a punt return in the first quarter. Well, Taylor's got size too, so he's not only athletic, he's been making yeah. plays all night tonight. Sean Taylor, you know, he, he's six foot three, as you said before, and 220 pounds. That's a big safety. But the thing I like about him the most, he seems to have a sixth sense of moving quickly to the ball with good makeup speed. Tiny times, Western PA. Rutherford flushed again. Threw it on the run. This one is caught. A tremendous hit again by Sean Taylor, but Lamar Slade hung on. And it's here. Jonathan Vilma setting up the defenses. He's now looking at the option. The late pitch to the running back. Only a Loss of four yards on that play. Reyes searches for daylight. Got a good block on the outside. Now on first down, the option. Nunes pitches. Here's Reyes. He is ridden out at the 46-yard line by Sean Taylor. Play fake. Nunes rolls hard to the left. Now he puts it back in the tight end's hands that time. And Lenny Cusimano. North of uh, Canada. <laughs> down. You know I'll that? figure that out in a moment. You know that? Well, I you know. know you do. I know. I know. <laughs> the fake. First down and Sean Taylor touchdown. 47 yards on the fake punt. Capshaw. They showed it. Taylor. For 47 yards and uh, wasn't called from the bench. I'll tell you. No, no they that, showed it the play before on the offsides, and Capshaw went over to Taylor and said, "If he does it again, I'm going to throw it to you." They just said, "You know, Capshaw, if you come after us, I'm going to throw it." And they <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> and I know the fans are booing Miami over on the sideline, but I'm sure that Larry Coker, the first thing he will do will be go over to. See Coach Pasqualoni. Look at that and pass. Apologize. It's a Billy Kilmer <laughs> wounded duck special. And Taylor, I believe he's the young man on the reverse for the on the punt return last week. Has for 134 yards and <laughs> one of the ugliest touchdown passes 
you will ever see. Virginia Tech, here's the option Bob talked about. It's Suggs on the corner, and he's got the corner and the first down. You knew you'd see that play early. Fault. That's right. Necessary. It's a team. They got close again, but he got a beauty up and hung it down to the 15-yard line. And then hit from behind, crossing the 25 was D'Angelo Hall, and now flag flies in late again. And I mean four seconds after the play was over. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on Virginia Tech. Penalty will be half the distance to the goal. First down. And there it is. Hall came up after being tackled and let Sean Taylor have it. Behind a two, tight end set again, going down for a loss, but he broke a couple of would-be tackles, and he still lost four. At the Canes 10, Randall. Pump fakes and now takes off to the end zone. Did he get there? Not quite. Randall throwing a fade. Wilford trying to come down with it. It's broken up. Sean Taylor was with him. Wilford is their go-to guy. He is 6'4 and 217 up against Taylor. He got his hands on it. He sees it whole, the whole way. The ball was a little bit underthrown, but not a lot. It's a good throw by Randall. And you can bet ever since last year when he dropped that two-point conversion, although this isn't the same circumstance. Sun's trying to peep through the showers. Randall on the option keeper into the secondary. And loose ball again. And Miami's got it again. If he breaks one tackle, he's gone. Sean Taylor just knocks it loose. Again, a fumble for Randall. Down the middle, Witten's got it. Nice cutback, first down. It's going to be first and goal at the four. And Sean Taylor saves a touchdown. That is single coverage down here at the bottom to Wilford. Throw alley -oop. and incomplete. Sean Taylor again was there with him. Give him another chance. Going to bring out the field goal unit. Single coverage. Wilford, number 19, just gets with. This time, Taylor knows what's coming. He gets vision and gets up when the ball's coming. He had one return, 42 yards. That by Parrish, who's going to track this one down on the run at the 16. Parrish got a huge block, got a crease, almost busted free again. For all intents and purposes, Kevin Jones is basically a starting tailback. He's playing the gunner on the punt. Coverage. Right How about there. that hit by Taylor? Wow. I tell you what, when Suggs graduates this year and leaves, he will, Jones will not be on the gunner on the punt team next year. Kevin's trying to make sure his jaw still works the same way it did this morning. Some 15 seconds remaining on their way to their 12th straight victory. Across the middle, Wilford. And Wilford broke a tackle inside the 10, trying to drag tacklers with him to the goal line, and he got 16 yards. Claret and Hall in the backfield for the Buckeyes. Crenzel looking to throw, pulls it down and takes off. He hits the 20, goes to the 24-yard line. Here's the punt by Freddie Capshaw, who got to Miami from Rock Springs, Wyoming. It's going downfield, down to the goal line. Ball rolls around, Kane's trying to kill it. And it looks like they did just short of the goal line. Second to nothing. And Pencil rolls to the right. Looking for help. Gets it off. Big downfield. Fight for position. And it is intercepted on the rebound by Sean Taylor. Chris Vance down by Andrew Williams. That makes this ball flutter. Jennings is back there fighting with Chris Vance, and that's an outstanding play by Sean Taylor, his third interception of the year, and what an athletic move to pick up the deflection. And he's only a sophomore and still growing at 6'3", what, 220? So far, they've been held in check. Here's the quarterback going right up the middle with it. And he takes a couple of pops, one in particular from uh, that big old safety, Sean Taylor. And now as a tight end for Ohio State, and the ball lofted to the corner. No, out of bounds. Michael Jenkins got it, but he didn't get a foot down as he was dueling with Sean Taylor. It'll be second down and goal. That's a great ba uh, battle because Sean Taylor is normally 
a safety, but at 6'3", 220, he's going to go out and guard Michael Jenkins at 6'5". See how close he came. Right foot out of bounds. Great call. No question. The center spot. Frenzel gives it to Ross. Ross picking his way. And that he's melee, he's and they roll forward into... Not quite. Craig Krenzel gives it to Maurice Claret. He spins out of one tackle and will get a couple of yards, moving from the 20 yard line. Got it again. Going to the outside. Broke the tackle. Gets the first down. Krenzel keeps it. Throws it to the end zone, and it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his intended receiver and no chance to get it there. And Claret Claret has stolen the ball. From yes, he did, Keith. Maurice Claret with the play of the game, perhaps, as Sean Taylor going down the sidelines, reminiscent of George Teague of Alabama stealing the ball from Miami a few years back. Ball's Watch in the Claret wrong hand. Ripping. It should have been in the other side, shouldn't it? That's a great point, Keith. But did he really pull it away? The officials say yes, he did. Mm, close. Krenzel trying to force this one. Great read by Taylor as he comes back to take the ball away from Hartsock. And then with the ball in his right hand, exposes it to Maurice Claret right there. And in the judgment of the officials, when they hit the ground, T1 yards and a touchdown. And he's back looking for a receiver. Let's it go to the sidelines. Has him. Throws it right on his hands. No problem with it. He's out of bounds. Yeah, I guess they did. Barely. And Lorette fights for a couple of yards, getting it close to midfield. I was surprised. I thought that Krenzel was coming out that time because he got there for Krenzel. Now one of them runs away. Lorette. Krenzel steps up and goes to the sidelines, and that's good for the first down. Caught by Michael Jenkins. Just outside the 12, Krenzel steps in the middle, throws to the end zone. No. <laughs> Intended again for Jenkins, covered by Taylor. Will come over from his safety spot here, take Jenkins man for man, and prevent Krenzel from having a good angle to squeeze this one in. No place for Krenzel to throw it because 26, Taylor had the inside. He came off the field. Here goes uh, Krenzel. He's at the five-yard line, and he is hammered. He took a wicked shot to the head, and he went down hard on his back. Taylor, Vilma. Krenzel sees a little hole. Now he slides out, and he throws. And it's incomplete. Taylor. Knocked it away from Hartsuck. Taylor's having an unbelievable night tonight. He's got two interceptions, 11 tackles. He was victimized by Maurice Claret, who picked his pocket after one of his interceptions. But you can just see how smart he is as a safety, reading the quarterback and then breaking on the ball. When Miami thought they had won, Sean Taylor, number 26 of safety, had thrown his helmet up in the air and all the pieces came apart. He missed that last play because he was on the sideline trying to find the pieces, get it put it back together. They got it put back together. Now he's back in the on the field. You wouldn't want to be out there trying to defend here without him in the mix. With all your padding in your helmet, too. Boy, you need him. in the middle. It's short. Down the middle. Heads up play. Keith, Sean Taylor rushed the center, fake like he was coming, and that caused a false start by Ohio State. And that'll back him up five. Tired of the snap. False start in the offense. It'll be a five-yard game here. Repeat the try. What a heads up play by Sean Taylor. What a player he is as a safety. 26 right here. Watch him shake up the center. That's Kyle Andrews as a snapper, number 60. And he gets the left guard to jump. And seven. These guys love to throw it, but need to establish the run. McCown, a good athlete, throws on the run, and it's intercepted. 
And his inbounds and an interception is Sean Taylor. Okay, so the junior who had four INTs shows what he's made of with the INT. Uh, Ed Reed, two years, two years ago, really people thought about him very highly. I want to watch you watch the athletic ability and the closing speed from Sean Taylor. After he sees play action, the bootleg, look at him close in wow. and make that play. That's, that's the best safety in college football, Sean Taylor. And you know the problem with the play out of the spread offense? It's that long handoff to DJ Curry. <laughs> Necktied by Sean Taylor. <laughs> Sean Taylor has made his presence felt very early here tonight. That's just a gain of two yards. One thing you do if you're a defense, when teams are going to try to throw the bubble screens and the quick swing passes like that, is it's, it's really about defending it inside out. The defensive line, not only the secondary trying to, you know, contain the receiver, it, the deep. Good athlete, too. He can go up and dunk it on a regulation hoop. On the a little long handoff to D.J. Curry, picks up about eight yards. And the senior out of Jacksonville, Texas, who completed 60% of his passes last year, gets it to D.J. Curry on first down. Out of the gun, McCown, as pressure coming, hits the hot man underneath. What a stick. Somehow, Julius Cosby was able to hang on. Sean Taylor. Uh, all right. <laughs> if you're playing Miami, and you're coming across the middle, uh -huh. you want to keep out a look for the visor. <laughs> when 2-6 is anywhere oh. close, anywhere close to the middle, just oh. get ready, because it's ear hole time. How did he hold that ball? How uh, he... That was impressive, but is... the shoulder went right through him. Is he 6'3", 230? Uh, he is a specimen. He's, what a he is, that's player. the best looking safety in the world. He went from that the guy, you know, he changed visors from the, yeah, he went from the yellow nighttime yeah, to the yellow to the mirror one. to the yeah. clear. Defensive front for Miami. McCown puts it in the hands of DJ Curry, who is stuffed by Taylor and Wilford. Here's slowed by a right hamstring injury. It's up in the air. Antra Roll has a punt return for a touchdown, has an interception return for a touchdown on opening night. Early 90s when Miami's winning all those national championships, what's the one thing that you think about? If there was ever a tip ball and an interception, it was House. a race to the goal line. Forget the guy carrying the ball. Who's going to get there first? And Antra Roll takes Who's it. Getting there? Look at this. The whole team, they're all going. It's a race. Get in there, fellas. Get in there. Antra Roll takes it in. Touchdown, Canes. You see, Louisiana Tech has not been able to convert a third down all night. They finally do. What? Is that a catch? Yes, it is. Saw the ball come out. No. Nope. nope. They say no. Okay. Official from the top came in to, to wave this off. I, I was with you, Mike. I thought it somehow stayed on his oh, chest, great. but it clearly touched the ground. <laughs> right there. Hand off inside. Carthon straight up the middle. And he's inside the... 7-3, our score, and a high short kick this time. <laughs> Very cool. short. And kicking it that deep again. Fielded at the 17. Sean Taylor. Taylor trying to weave his way through some traffic. Still on his feet. He's got great strength. Here's Sean Taylor in the open field. And now Hill's the man to beat again. All the way to the 15-yard line. It's a kickoff return party in Miami. The field. This is the free safety, one of the best in the country. Sean Taylor was a running back and defensive back at Gulliver High School here in Miami. Scored 44 touchdowns his senior year. He knows what to do with it when he gets it under his arm. Does he ever? First down, can't face it is the tailback now. Play action to him and the throw out in the flat. Kind of a dangerous toss intended. Ains, the Gator quarterback, Carthon. Bouncing off would-be tacklers before Sean Taylor. Leak over the middle, tips, incomplete. Waiting for the snap. On the ground they go again, this time it's Faison. Faison didn't get to the first for the freshman. He'll give it off to Carthon. And now the Hurricanes defense starting to swarm a little. And Sean Taylor, we spent some time with him yesterday and either engaging young fella but Swanee I said to you when he walked by you a couple times how many licks could you take from a safety that big well I'm telling you I wouldn't want to take one from him talking to all his teammates they will run it and here's a nice run by a kid that's had a good night Deshaun Wynn nope option he'll keep it didn't even look to his trail man took a pretty good shot oh. leak in trouble 
trying to scramble out of it. Heading for the first down sticks. He didn't quite get there. He didn't get it, and he didn't get out of bounds. So the clock runs. One. Back in the eye. Play fake for Robinson. In the coverage, and the Canes take it right back, and it's guess who? Sean Taylor with his second interception of the year. Sean Taylor ranges back there like a gazelle. It's a two deep. There he is on the hash. His job is to take anything in this half of the field, and he runs all the way across. Quarterback has a poor read, throws it right into the Sean Taylor zone, an easy catch for the big man, except that he has to beat two of his teammates to the football. <laughs> and trail roll there for the football as well. That was a real competition. Three green jerseys over there, only two possible. Second down and 10 from the 20 as the second quarter will begin. And again on the ground, Towns. We'll get about five out of this. It'll be third and five. Third burst now, and the energy level over on the purple sideline. As Towns carry to make this first. Four down territory for sure, and it's going to take a fourth down because third down goes nowhere with Vontae. Yeah. Desperately. They roll the pocket. Here comes the pressure, throws it complete, incomplete. Couldn't hold on to the ball at the 40 at the 37-yard line. Blitz coming right up the middle, got a man, and throws interception, and that's going to be returned by Sean Taylor for a Miami touchdown. And Ron, you're just looking at a number one draft choice from Miami. He's only a junior, but the, he's as good a safety as there is in this country. By Sean Taylor, the junior out of Miami. Got him a prep makes the pick and he's he's off and running and as mike said he is a big kid 6'3 230 but runs extremely well so it's 21 to nothing miami take a break drive they've had night again bounces it up the middle boy he got cracked hard by dj williams and night again breaks it into the set about Derek knight Sets deep in the pocket, pressure from behind. Going to run it, and he'll have the first different for West Virginia. First down run with Quincy Wilson, who loves to spin Dational after. Again under center, again a run with Wilson. Right at the line. Marshall looks to throw this time. Puts it up for the rear right court by Harris. There's a flag down as K.J. Harris pulls away. Takes it all the way to the three. To watch this is just comes to your heart. Kick is away from Brian Monroe. Will this one be stopped inside the five? Yes. It'll be stopped at the two and a half yard line. Well, it's 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 covered <laughs> by, as we said, if there's a better free safety in the country, I look forward to watching him play. Sean Taylor down there on the cover. Punch 40 long field for the Mountaineers. Well, Sean Taylor is known as one of the best free safeties, but He's going to be a gunner here, and he's going to get down. Makes a little cut here. Now, look at him. Look for the football. That's a great job right there. You can use that as a clinic film. Looking up and finding the football. Don't worry about the pick six. I'm talking a big play. Marshall's going to run. Has some room, and this good runner got it back out near the original line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Miami blitz. Picked up by West Virginia. Underneath, it's complete. But that'll be short of the first down with Henry. A run straight ahead of Wilson, pounding forward, and finally stopped at the two of Miami's season and their careers. Pressure on, Marshall got out of his hands. Loss of two as D. Alston was lucky to hang on. There's so many uh, ties to the state. Thanks, Doc. A little reverse here in the hands of Travis Garvin, who is upended at the 39. They need to buy time for the length of throw. That's uh, halfway down the field, it's up in the air, and it's intercepted by Sean Taylor, who goes down and shows the relief for the Canes as Miami has survived barely. Here, just blew a whistle prior to the play. And this one's blocked. Miami blocks the kick, scoops it up, Sean Taylor. At the 14-yard line. Tell you what, 
Florida State would like to have that first punt back, wouldn't they? But sure would. Not to play from, though. It's Ricks on a quarterback draw, and he's buried at the one. Sean Taylor from the secondary. Had receiver group, and he'll give it off to Greg Jones. And Jones is swarmed under Sean Taylor, always around the ball, yeah. and it's a loss of four. Ricks from the gun. Deep down the middle. Look Overshot out. his man. It's intercepted. And it's Sean Taylor making another big play. See, that's 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 where the inconsistency of Chris Ricks comes into play. Chris Davis was the intended receiver. He looks there all the way and just throws it up. It's on six carries. He'd been negative yardage until there. Now it's Ricks going up for Thorpe, and it's intercepted near midfield. Sean Taylor's got another one. Who else? Taylor weaving his way back inside the 20. He might score. Taylor, touchdown! 48 yards, Sean Taylor for the score. You just saw the best free safety in America right there pick off a throw that shouldn't have been made. He and Stu Schweiger at Purdue, I think none of us would argue they're the two best around. And this guy, he'll not only hit you, he's got great wheels, and he showed it on that weaving run for the touchdown. Now it's all Miami. Just when Florida State had hoped they could get something out of this offensive drive. Sean Taylor with the interception has made it 19 to nothing. That's his sixth interception of the year, his second return for a touchdown. His second pick of the day. Here it is. Ricks is going to try and throw a deep ball down the sideline. He couldn't step up. And here he is right here. I mean, it was badly underthrown. It's wet. It's slippery. It's windy. And you had people in the in the in the uh, pocket where you couldn't step up. Sean Taylor was a running back in high school. I mean, yeah, in high school. Already intercepted a couple times today. This one's tipped. Almost picked off again. San Antonio Thomas. You know the guy that would have had the interception. There he is. Thomas tipped it. Taylor almost picked it. Fumbles. Special teams. Inside handoff. One of the better runs of the. Then Chris Ricks throwing the interception down the middle to Sean Taylor. And then Sean Taylor with number two, and this one even prettier because he not only picked it off, he weaved his way about 49 yards through the Florida State offense for Miami's last touchdown. You know, he was a, like we said, he was a running back in high school, and, and he just, he wants the football. And, and he, he wants to do something with oh, it. Oh, and he sees... When you drop back to pass, he's happy because, all right, now I may get an interception here. You may go throw the football, and I may get it. The last time that we were in Miami for the Florida game, we spent quite a bit of time with Sean the day before the game, and he walked into our meeting room, and I know the thing that Swanee said when he left. If he had to play against guys this big as safeties, yeah. you wouldn't want to play long. This guy is a chiseled 230. He's 6'3". There isn't an ounce of fat on him, and you just saw what he could do running the ball. He's bigger speaking, than the linebacker right there, D.J. Williams. And speaking of chisel, if Michelangelo was alive today, <laughs> okay, the statue would be called Sean, <laughs> not David. Uh, you have the dreadlocks going, too. That'd be a different look. <laughs> Delayed blitz. Ricks got hit as he threw. Look out. It's intercepted. No, it's dropped. And it would have been number three. For Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor always plays. They play a lot of two deep. He always plays to the wide side of the field. That was very similar to his, the last interception he had. To the bottom of your screen, and he rolls that way. Here's the final play. It would take a Hail Mary miracle. He hangs it up there. Jump ball in the end zone. Incomplete. Second and five. Greg Jones. They can't get anything going on the ground today. He got about a yard every play because you never know what play is going to be either a touchdown or a disaster. Ricks on the run. This time he'll keep it. Heads to the sideline. Gets what he can and gets out of bounds with a first down. Smart play by Sean Taylor not to hit him, and then he goes over <laughs> to say something to him. 
Like next time I will hit you? Yeah. Yeah. Or why did you run out of bounds? Or he just, <laughs> you got to get out of jail free card on that <laughs> one, you know. Yeah. Pass through my neighborhood. Yeah. Chris Ricks on third and five. Waits and fires and almost intercepted by Sean Taylor. Well, the recovery speed of Sean Taylor, not only to get to the receiver, but to get around him and try to intercept the ball. Just amazing. Look at the numbers on him, and we still got a lot of football left. Hey. Ricks has a man open. Got him. No. Oh, he dropped it. Robinson dropped it. Now he goes straight down the field. He's wide open. Guess who makes the hit to make sure he doesn't catch it? I think I think they all are looking for Sean Taylor. I there think they've he was. seen. I've seen. I think they've seen what he has done in the past, and they they're kind of getting a little uh, light-footed. Every snap counts now. Ricks flushed from the pocket, looking downfield, lets it go. He's got Thorpe out there. Incomplete in the end zone. Sean Taylor again was right there. He thought he was interfered with. That's five balls he's had his hands on today, Taylor. He's, he's had on, his hand on the ball more than most receivers he's, are running back. <laughs> Canes are going to blitz. Ricks throws. Thorpe dropped it. Chris Ricks had to wait and wait and wait, and he paid for it from Sean Taylor. Who else? Out of safety blitz. Oh, at the Canes four. Jones again. Up the middle. Maybe got to the two, and then he got planted. The penalty yards we said earlier, the one with the most usually wins, believe it or not. Ricks, look out, Chris. Throwing long. Double coverage out there. And a penalty marker, it's probably going to be offensive pass yeah. interference. Yeah. It was Chris Davis out there, and Merriweather and Taylor really had a better play on the ball than the wide receiver did. Taylor had his eyes on his sixth sixth one. He wanted to get his hands on it. <laughs> Coker talking to Nat, number 57. Here's Davis with the shove on Taylor. <laughs> he almost caught <laughs> it. It's raining too hard. Third down, Chris Ricks firing. Oh, broken up, and Taylor got a hand on another one. And Alfonso Marshall was there, too. Thanks. Here's the last chance for Florida State on fourth and two. Chris Ricks trying to buy himself some time. Lofts it out for Crefonzo Thorpe. Broken up by Sean Taylor. How many times have we said that today? So Miami will take over. Many of you that are waiting for the Oklahoma-Texas game, you'll see your kickoff. We've got a timeout. You got any guesses on our Chevrolet Most Valuable Players? I'd take Sean Taylor for I, Miami. I would, too. <laughs> Sean Taylor, two interceptions. He had his hands on it six times today. Caught two of them, took one to the barn for a touchdown. Michael Bulware was in double figures in tackles. He'll go home an unhappy. From the 22. They fake the reverse, straight ahead with the handoff. Jones takes it out over the 25 to around the 28. Virginia Tech gets it back with 447 until halftime. They'll give it to Jones, tries to sweep the left side, stiff arm over the 35. And now a flag comes down. Interception. You can see Miami adjusting on defense. He's going to try to scramble and throws the ball, a very dangerous throw. Play action. He's going to run it. Tucks it and is out of the 40. Kicked by a tackle. It is back. Vic gives it to Jones. He is going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Two tight ends. They give it to Jones. They're going to keep this as conservative as possible. Team players there. Here's the kick. Line drive. And Parrish at midfield. He's going to hand it off. And on the reverse, they've got a picket fence out there. Sean Taylor down the sideline at the 20. And he laterals the ball back. That's out. Troy Fleming goes out, wants to throw the screen in that direction, got a block on the corner. And out to the 39-yard line, Derek Tinsley. Again, to the outside, and in this drive. Davis pounds short of the goal line, and it is third and goal. High on the safety. Throws to the right, buys time, and throws at the first down mark. Now, Clausen with the fans howling, handing it off. Continuing to work on the clock. From the 26-yard line, Leonard gets a carry. Boy, there's a great fill there. Vilma 
along with Sean Taylor, shut that play down. Leonard never really got a chance to turn Miami showing blitz. They bring everybody. Hart hangs in, got a wide open Tucker. Tucker at the 40 45, bang down hard. First down, Rutgers. Knocked out of bounds by Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is going to be playing on Sundays. He's 6'3", 230, a junior, the free safety, a gain of 16. Well, Dave, what's been impressive about Ryan Hart is his ability to hang in the pocket and the timing, the clock in his head. He knows they're bringing, Miami's bringing pressure, has to get rid of it fast on the outside, and he delivers it to Sean Tucker with great timing. What a blow-up play on the outside by Sean Taylor. You said Sundays will come very soon for this young man. Sean, you want to get rid of it. He didn't. He didn't. It was blocked. They got it. Rutgers and here's Rutgers. He's running out with it. Rutgers gets a first down. Can you believe this? Sean Taylor blocked it, and it was taken out. You could pick probably two or three Miami players. It looked like Taylor was in, and then the ball gets kicked out, and Holman right there for Rutgers, taking it down their sideline. Been all Miami here in the third. Hart looking, throwing into the hands of Taylor. He's going to go. This is going to be another touchdown for Sean Taylor. His third of the season on seven INTs for 43 yards. There's a flag throw close to the goal line. It might be unsportsmanlike. It might be a, a conduct penalty. Coming into today's game, only Brian King had defended more passes than Sean Taylor's. Penny knocks it through. Forget about the offense. Just leave the Miami defense on the field. They're getting it done in a big way. Hart gets picked here off the deflection. And once Taylor got it, say goodnight. It's 27-3, Kings. A blowout. Miami can change the complexion of a game in a couple of plays, and it all started with their defense, Dave. No question. In the second half, turning it up a couple notches, and then their special teams comes in, blocks a punt, and then gets it back and, and takes advantage of a, of a good pass. Sean Taylor's done that all season. Face, not much there. Mason's the hot hand. Oh, nice move to get outside. He's got the first down. He's rodeo. Draw play, Leonard. Ooh, he took another shot. Roll got him. Oh, passing yardage record. Here's a blitz on the corner. Throws it, and he gets it to Leonard at the 35. Needs one more than one man to bring him down. Taylor gets him up high. Look out. Doesn't see the blitz come. Eludes it. Vilma's in his face, and he gets it to Leonard. Leonard does a real ball. Drew's knee at. Audio, Martha, Martha Walters. Run down everybody else, and there's Taylor, almost another pick. Cameras, Arlene, uh, Elaine, what am I talking about? Elaine Portilla, Portilla and uh, Rodney Butler, tape operator. Well, here comes Taylor, the all-everything safety. I know some of the fellows who are great players have him at the very top of the list here. And I agree, one of the best players in college football. He's got the full package, an opposing guy. I mean, he's big safety out there. It's like a brick wall as a safety, too. You run at him, you don't go through him. And he reads plays, runs and passes, as well as any safety since Ed Reed. Remember, Ed Reed used to do from double team in Fitzgerald. Antrell Ray, one of the best cover corners in the country, is all over. Fitzgerald and Sean Taylor up on the run that time. Well, earlier, remember now, we asked you the Affleck trivia question. Who was the head coach of Pittsburgh's 1976 national championship? The fullback and not my read. Across, now you see him right there. Rutherford goes back, steps up, fires middle, intercepted. Sean Taylor. So Sean Taylor. Picked him up that time, and number 26 makes the pick and shows you why he's the number one safety in the country and a leading candidate for the Bednarik Award given to the best defensive player of the year. There's Taylor right over there to the outside. They bracketed him. Sean Taylor, Red Ruffin, watch him beat him to the spot. Because Gerald comes across, ball's thrown a little bit too far, but Sean Taylor's about as good as there is at safety as when that ball gets in his area. He grabs it. That's his seventh interception of the year. He, le he leads the Big East. Yeah, that's Gary. That's number eight. He oh, I'm sorry. In. Yeah, came in with seven. You're right.
And uh, Boy, three of them he'd taken. Came here. Rutherford got a little time. First and 10 oh, for 13 just yards. Just, just guessing. Sean Taylor on the low. <laughs> now, you know, he returned interceptions for touchdowns, punts for touchdowns. He's blocked punts. He's made tackles like that in the secondary. He's made tackles on the running plays. He, as we showed in the first animation, he, he reads plays quickly. He's as good as you've seen in college football. Has any safety ever been drafted number one sacks tonight and two interceptions as Rutherford back to throw again? And there's the third. Interception and Mr. Taylor has a pair of them on the night. Where he break on that football. Sean Taylor came so fast. The 6'3 junior from Miami incident. We got a call from New York that Kenny Easley was the safety who was drafted the highest by the NFL. He was picked number two out of UCLA by Seattle. Roy Williams went three to Dallas. I think he's got the right side of the screen way up to the top right there. He's going to watch him break on this football. I mean, that, uh, that is what you look for. Guy who can play safety and be comfortable with the ball in the air, and he's going to try to lateral it at the end. Of the First down, Rick's under some pressure. Chris goes out and throws oh. long. Took a big hit and threw it to Sean Taylor. Interception, Miami. And Sean Taylor down on the other end, his 10th interception of the season, and his third just against the Seminoles. We told you he was a good one. He shows you why right there. Most in the nation now with that 10th pick of the year. I think as the game goes on, too. You got that right. Here's a toss sweep. Leon Washington cuts it back across the 50 and to the 49-yard line. There's the two safeties. Taylor, the big fella that's already got an interception in this ball game. Both those guys will be great. No, I'm, I shouldn't say that. Sykes will be graduating as a fifth year senior. There's been a lot of talk of Sean Taylor maybe deciding that uh, this this might be his last season. Chris throws incomplete intended for Willie Reed again. We talked about Sean Taylor always being around the ball. Let's take a little spotlight look at big number 26 who's dancing out there right now. Spotlight Sean Taylor. What's he got? He's got a lot. He is a big dude. Bigger than most linebackers. 6'3", 230. And rangy. <laughs> I don't know if he's that rangy, but he's rangy. He and covers a that, lot of ground. He's a smart guy, a real smart player. So Florida State normally throws it about 35 times a ball game. They've only thrown 11 times to... This... Hand over end kick that Parrish has to run a long ways to field at the 15. Parrish across the 25 and got about 12 or 13 on the return. Pat Watkins made the stop on the special teams. Chris Ricks play action. Chris loads and fires down the middle. And the pass broken up. Ricks throws. Almost intercepted by Sean Taylor. Loaded it out there for Robinson. Got too much air under it. Bobby Bowden said this Miami defense is boring. By that he means they do the same thing all the time. They play too deep. The safeties play too deep. And, and, and the uh, rest of the defensive backs play a tight man-to-man -man underneath for the four-man rush. Florida State seniors have never beaten the Miami Hurricanes. If they don't get this fourth down, they won't have another chance. It's fourth and 12. Here's your ball down. Same coverage. Quick drop. Ricks flips it out. Incomplete intended for P.K. Sane. The celebration is about to begin for Miami. They're going to beat the Seminoles for the fifth straight time. That pass could have been in a better spot. He just couldn't hold it because Roll got his shoulder in there and helped to pop it out. 